Y'all can see everything getting tore down. My boy Bluebill Radio right there. Spotty ain't gonna like it, but it's over with. Closure about to come up. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Roz Reptiles, and as you can see, a lot of things has changed at the Roz Academy. So we ain't gonna get into too much, but first thing first, I'm already getting started with my boy Spidey's new enclosure. As you guys can see, you know, got the same pond as before, but this enclosure, I want to be able to walk inside, walk around with them, chill, trees, and all that good stuff gonna be in here, and we're gonna hook it up. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about making it about, I don't know, seven foot high. And, uh, yeah, and go from there. Seven foot high, and it's about 20 feet long so far. Maybe even 23 feet after when I'm done with it. But everything looks amazing. So, it's going to be pretty cool. He's going to have a ladder that allows him to go into the pond. He's going to have a couple... Um, a couple shelves that he can go on, an area where he can dig, an area where, a lot of areas where he can hide, and a lot of trees he could climb. So I'm gonna have two entrance ways. I'm gonna have a door right here, potentially a door on that side, but, or maybe a door here and a door there. It's for multiple reasons, but I'm gonna get started. Hope y'all missed your boy Ross Reptiles, and I'm back now, and hey, let's get to it. All right, so far. Putting all my posts and everything together. Template for the door. It's about to get crazy. All right, we're getting back to work. Got Bluebill Radio in again. You know what I'm saying? We're getting to work. And uh, everything coming together. We're getting right. Spidey. All right, y'all. We got the post up. You know what I'm saying? Gonna have the light beams coming from up top. So y'all can see. Got the panel right there, too. Everything looking official how it's supposed to be. Let's get it. All right, guys, y'all see it. Y'all see it. See Bluebill sitting in the enclosure. It's going to look crazy. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. I'm showing y'all everything. So, so y'all can see this new enclosure getting revamped before it can even get finished. Because what ended up happening... Um, Somehow one of the screws that was in the wall that was in the stud, I guess when I was driving my car here or something, um, it must have caused something. And basically everything broke apart, started trembling down, ripping apart. So I'm just tearing it all down now. And I'm gonna just do it a little different. That's a tad different. So bear with me. I'm gonna get to y'all in a minute, show y'all the finished product. All right, starting my shelving process as well. Everything looking good from the inside. It's about to get crazy. All right, guys, as you can see, I literally put a board in between, you know, the pond area and the ground area. What's gonna end up happening is, it's gonna be pretty dope how I do it. I'm doing the water wall thing because he does a lot of splashing and um, some unnecessary spilling and things like that. I want all this to be dirt. All of it to be dirt, nice play area. Uh, he's gonna have his, um, his basking area all through here. And I'm gonna have a hiding area somewhere around here somewhere, maybe everywhere. However, I'm gonna cut a nice big hole so he can go underneath and go to the pond as well as we're gonna build a bridge over top that goes directly down into the water as well. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And then my wife, she's gonna put a lot of um, like this little uh, flower bed type thing, like some grass, some greenery, and put it all on the wall. And um, yeah, we're gonna go from there. But this is my progress so far. Everything looks great. All right, so here's my progress. You know what I'm saying? So it's a big piece of wood, but it ain't no, it ain't no big deal. But I gotta put another post in between, put one against the wall, another one against the wall. And then this platform is going to be, a, um, it's literally going to be um, a place where he can rest at and chill on. Real sturdy. He get heat from above. Nice platform here. Walk around, ha, ha, ha. You know, took the pond out. 
put the power back in. We're gonna make a bridge that come from here to down there, straight into the water and out. I'm gonna put a square in this corner, like literally imaginary square where he could walk in and he could walk out. So I'm considering doing it from, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do it from one side. I thought about doing it from two, but it's gonna be a different type of enclosure, but I want him to get all the necessary heat he needs. It's gonna be a lot of trees and stuff, stuff around, place he can hide and move around. This side specifically gonna be water, a couple trees, couple branches, little heat coming from above, and we're gonna go from there. Wonderful day at the Rise Academy. All right, got this plastic seating right here, all black, which is gonna cover all this stuff up so I can put the dirty stuff in. And then this gonna be crazy. What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Ross Reptiles. And before I even get into this video, I'm gonna say it at the very beginning, happy holidays, as well as Merry Christmas, as well as this part right here. So you guys see the sphagnum moss, um, the sphagnum peat moss, you know, perfect soil for your reptiles. Um, I can't say too much about it enough. It's very great. It's not too rich. It's conditioned. It does all purpose right. You know what I'm saying? It absorbs water and all that good stuff. It's just the best substrate you can have. I use it on uh, all of my reptiles pretty much. Um, for the most part, such as the reticulated python, uh, the boa constrictor, um, not a water monitor, obviously. But the thing is, this stuff is best to buy it at places like Home Depot or Lowe's because you're going to get the best of your buck. You know, yeah, you could go to a pet store and get a smaller version of it, but you're going to end up paying triple the amount that you will pay, you know, rather than just get these big bags for like 12 bucks, 12 to 13 bucks. Whereas you go to the pet store, if you get a 24 or 36 quart, you're still gonna end up paying like 30 bucks plus, which is crazy. But this is just a hidden gem. Get the big bags, save you more time. What I ended up doing before, you guys can see, I was kinda excited to get this bill going and all of this jungle mix that's in there, basically what I bought, um, the peat moss, sphagnum moss, stuff like that. It's all mixed in. And, you know, this is literally only seven bags. Seven bags had cost me almost 220 bucks. Yeah, I was like, all right, cool. I don't care. I was thirsty to get it done. But once I was like, man, look, let me just get the best of my buck and just buy what I truly need. Because those four bags going to get this whole room completely filled. Now, watch this just to prove a point. Yes, sir. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. All right, I'm filling up the pond to clean my filter. My filter was disgusting. And uh, yeah, I got some nice trees I'm grabbing. Literally on the 26th, right after Christmas is over because all the store is going to be closed. Going to hook it up in here. But um, I'm going to test my temps as soon as I get the water and stuff in, heat up the water a little bit and um, make sure the filter is working correctly. And this, I think it's gonna be an amazing, amazing turnout, guys. Amazing turnout. All right, all right, water is filled up. Nice and easy. Yes, sir. Incredible. I know, I threw that little decoration on there, trying to make it look a little exotic. Can't wait to get these plants in here, man. Looks incredible. Got about a few more trees, probably like six, seven more. The plants will make everything fill in pretty good. All right, the much easy part. Very important for water monitors. Pretty much any animal that, uh, any reptile that, um, that needs humidity. But these guys need an extreme amount of humidity though. Extreme amount. So it's very important. You do what you gotta do with these guys. Cause they need it. 
All right, guys, so I got this pond looking real good, very clean. Got a couple trees and little leaves up. Um, I need to go buy some more moss so I can spread it around inside of, uh, you know, my substrate. Um, what I'm about to show you guys is something very interesting that I think you guys should know. So as you guys can see those wires over there, I'm gonna cover those up because you know what Spidey? He's pretty much a genius when it comes to this stuff. But you see this right here? Usually people use these when they're trying to protect the light on snakes and stuff like that so they don't scratch up their face or burn their face and things like that. Well, in my case, what I'm gonna do with Spidey in terms of plug is obviously I got a timer too. I'm gonna literally take it like this and screw it in. And that way, if I need to operate, I could just pull this little latch, open it, and he shouldn't be able to get to the plugs at all. Now these lizards are smart. I won't put it past him that he'll learn how to open it, but most likely it won't happen. They usually don't care about this type of stuff once they figure out that it won't help them at all. So I'm gonna screw that in. And then that'll be completely protected. And uh, yeah, we'll be all good. All right, so that way, the box is solid, he can't get to it. That's normally what I would do with, uh, I might have to do that with um, one of the emitters that I'm gonna put in here as well, so I can make sure that he doesn't mess with it. But yeah, that's how All it. right, guys, so I'm finally done. I'm not technically all the way done, but I'm done enough for him to go inside until after Christmas is over. Let me explain to you guys what I did for this enclosure. So, first and foremost, when I showed a lot of my friends and family, they said that uh, I built him like an office slash condo. Uh, one of my other homies told me, man, you built him a sky deck combo, uh, condo, I'm sorry. And I was like, man, that's incredible, man. They they all love it. And um, this was something completely new, man, that I that I just chose to do. So let me give you all the reason behind it. First of all, water monitors, they like to climb. Um, they like the bass, obviously. They love humidity. Uh, they like to dig. Um, they, they pretty much can do anything. It's like the perfect lizard that you can own. And they're very intelligent, too. So let me tell you what I did. And I'm going to tell you the modifications that I will be doing as soon as the holidays is over. But I wanted to get you all this Christmas special. So I got my trees and everything here. This is his area where he's going to sleep. He's going to hide at. I'm probably going to even do like, um, I might even put like a little sheet or something. Or something pretty nice that could cover the whole square up. So he won't be exposed too much. Because I know he's going to be digging a lot, uh, burrowing. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. And... I got the plugs and everything like that on that side and caged inside. I got this window platform here. Um, I guess I could take this off now. Now that's incredible. Woo! <laughs> chomp, chomp! Incredible. So anyways, so yeah, we hooked this up. You know, we got all the trees that we had from last time. We're going to um, add a couple more, probably about maybe 10 more trees, get some plants in each corners, um, put a lot more plants on the other side. I've got the hide area where he can go underneath to the other side instead of having to hop up on the trees to climb up to bass. But knowing him, he's gonna figure it all out. But like I said, I'm gonna add like 10 more trees in literally like a day or so, as soon as Christmas is over, because you know most of the stores are closed, if not all of them. All right, then I get my big window right here. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure I could see him from every angle. Got my heat panel up there, my nice LED light, UVB light, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it's a reptile light too. And it has um, it has ambient sound effects and things like that. It's pretty cool. All right, so I had, you know, this door frame on this side. Well, my clear plexiglass so I can see on both ends because this is something I always wanted. And on this side as well, we got the 500 gallon pond that we always use for them does well. And I keep my FX6 running, pumping real good, looks good, keep the water nice and clean. I just cleaned the filter out, so I probably won't have to clean that filter for or maybe about four months, I'll say. 
Yeah, maybe three months. I'm kind of always up maybe three, four months. Um, and that should be good. Got some trees and everything here and uh, some tree trunks. Put a little leaves over there, give it a little decorations. So what I'm also gonna do, I just ordered some more universal rock and then it's gonna be a universal rock that go around here and I'm gonna have to cut it. So the hole, you know, could be covered up. I got universal rock covering this up too. And that platform over there on that side, it's not gonna be no universal rock, but it's gonna be a, um, a reptile picture that I'm gonna put up there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put more trees, put plants in each corner here. I thought about building a bridge right here, but instead I'm gonna put a couple live plants, um, put some more heating accessories yeah, up here. Good. So tune in to next time. Hopefully y'all still rocking with your boy. This your boy Rise Reptiles. More videos coming up. Dropping more tomorrow, man. We back full time. Let's get it. Thank <laughs> you.